Hi friends, welcome to Wafa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 16 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about operators in Python. So we are going to know about high level details about operators in Python and also we are going to see like what types of operators we have. So what is operator in Python? Usually, if you want to perform any kind of operation on your variables or values in Python, you have to use operators. Not only in Python, it is common subject actually, even it is a Java, even it is a C sharp. So whatever the programming language, if you really want to perform some kind of operation on the variables or values, you have to use the operators. So if this is not clear at this moment, let me practically show you that. So let me open Visual Studio code. Uh, let me create a new Python file here. So let's say like this is operators.py. So new Python file I am creating and I have given the name as operators.py. So for example, I have a value called 10 and also I have a value called 5. Okay. So if I really want to perform some kind of operation, maybe I want to addition these two. So then I should use this operator called plus. So this is for addition. So the moment you use this plus operator, what it will do? It is going to addition these two values. So I am going to perform a additional operation, addition operation on top of these values. So let me try to print this. So let me print 10 plus 5 and let's see what will happen, whether addition will actually happen or not. So let me run this by typing a command called python space. My file name is operators.py, right? So let me type that operators.py. See, it returned value as 15. That means this plus sign actually performed the addition. That means my desired operation happened. Okay. So you can use, there are multiple types of operators are there. So if I use minus, then it is, that is going to actually uh, perform the subtraction. So let me run this and show you that. So see here, I got the output as 5. Okay. So, so like this. So not only on the values, you can perform the operations on variables also. So let's assume I have a x and uh, x value is 10 and I have a variable called y, y value is 5, okay. So now I want to perform these operations on my variables, then very simple. So use the variables and uh, mention desired sign, I mean whatever the sign you have to use for that operation. So plus is for addition as I said, or if you use star, that is for multiplication, okay. So let me execute this. See it written 10 into 5, that means 50. Okay, so whatever the operators I have shown just now to you, that is plus, or minus, or star, all these are called like arithmetic operations, operators, sorry. So that means they will help you to perform arithmetic operations. Okay, so there are so many types of operators available. So I mentioned here, so arithmetic operators, that means like plus, minus, multiplication, assignment operators. So assignment operators are like to assign any values. So equals to in this case is a assignment operator. Not only because this operator is helping you to assign any value into one variable, right? So this is a assignment operator. So there are so many types of assignment operators available. We will discuss all these individual operators in a separate video in our upcoming sessions. Okay. So these are the high level types, arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison operators that will help you to compare like greater than, less than like that. So for example, 10. So let me use like X greater than Y. So this will help you to compare X with Y, whether it is greater than or not. If yes, it is greater, then it will return true or else false. So let's save these changes and let's run this and see. See, it returned it true. So the so this greater than symbol is actually like a comparison operator. So we have something called logical operators. So logical operators are nothing but like and. See the moment I type that and word, so it highlighted in blue. So that means it has its own meaning in Python. Okay, it's not something variable I am creating here. Okay, so these are like a logical operators. We will see all these. Don't worry, we will see each type of these operators in detail in our upcoming videos. So hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.